Here is the right hand rule for angular quantities. You extend your right hand, you curl your fingers along the perimeter of the angular motion, and your right thumb perpendicular to this will give you the vector direction. Suppose I have this bicycle wheel and I want to represent a displacement vector of changing angular position from one point to another. I curl my fingers along this motion, extend my right thumb, and it is going to give us the direction of the vector. In this case, pointing out of the screen. Symbolically, angular displacement is delta theta. Previously, we described its this direction as clockwise or counterclockwise. But in the right hand roll representation, we are going to be representing the direction of this vector out of the picture. Whereas clockwise displacement would be represented as a direction into the screen. The representation of circle dot and circle cross can be remembered as an arrow. Is it flying towards you, in which case what you would see is just the dotted tip, or is it flying away from you, in which case you would just see its fins leaving you. When you are interested in angular motion through time, delta t, the right hand rule applies exactly the same. Counterclockwise, curl your fingers and your thumb will point towards the vector. Clockwise, curl your fingers and your thumb will point away from you and that will give you the direction of this vector. Finally, for angular acceleration, which is the rate of change of angular velocity over time, again, the right hand rule is the same. Be cautioned, however, as angular acceleration is related to change in the angular velocity, it is not necessarily the same direction as the direction of spin. The right hand rule becomes especially powerful once you have to represent angular quantities 
in more than just two directions. In that case, you still need to use your right thumb to represent the direction, but it is no longer restricted to just pointing outwards or inwards on the screen. In this case, I'm going to be spinning the wheel counterclockwise as viewed from top, but from your view, the direction of spin seems to be away from you and towards you to represent the direction of the angular velocity use your right thumb from your perspective it is now upward if i twist this around the other way follow the right thumb now the vector is pointing downwards You can also repeat with pointing the wheel towards you. If I were to ride a bicycle towards you, the vector representation will now be towards your right. If the bicycle is riding away from you, according to the right hand rule, the angular velocity of this wheel is now to your left. 